Welcome back to another video about top-down RPG template tutorial series. In our previous video, we created our own enemy character and learned how to make it move and attack. In this video, we will cover skill trees for the player characters. Let's get started. Every skill tree needs its own widget, but we don't need to create them from scratch. Instead, we'll copy the Skill Tree Sample widget from the template and modify it to suit our needs. By default, a skill button is already included in the widget. You can duplicate it to add more skills, but for now, we'll set an existing skill ID to this button. In another video, we'll cover how to implement new skills. The skill button's UI will automatically update based on the assigned skill ID. Next, we need to create a data table to store our skill trees. The documentation provides the structure for the skill tree. Add a new entry with the same row name and ID and enter the name of the skill tree. This is the name of the skill tree tab on the UI. Add all the skills that are part of the skill tree to the list. And set the skill tree widget we just created. Go back to the player character data table and assign the skill tree ID for your character. Save everything and test it out. Press T to open up the skill tree dialog. You'll notice that the dialog is currently empty and that we have a bunch of errors when we stop playing. This is because the game doesn't recognize our skill tree yet. To fix this, open the CDT Skill Trees composite data table in the template and replace the existing skill tree data table with ours. Press play and check it again. This time the skill tree should be present. There's one more thing we need to address. In a previous video, we replaced the default enemy data table with ours, and that data table doesn't include this enemy character. This is why we're seeing errors. Let's copy this enemy character data into our data table. making sure the row name and ID match. Save everything and test it out again. This time, you should see the status effect of the skill below the enemy character's life bar for a couple of seconds. Thank you for watching.